know, a lot of people blame a lot of things on Satan. It's easy to deal with the reality of the fact that um, that Satan's against you and all of that stuff. And he's your problem. But there's a whole nother category and issue to let soak into you when it's not Satan who's your problem, but God who's your problem. Listen, if you're going to walk in the implications of the gospel, then you're going to have to be married to the understanding of the principle of brokenness. Brokenness is the mark of a person that is qualified to be used by God. But at the end of the day, people that are people that are actually being used by God in a crazy way, in an off the meter way, are people that have been cracked up, who have been lunged at by God, and God has done something to them. Broken can mean shattered, crushed, maimed, de um, devoid of arrogance, wounded, contrite, injured, smashed, grieved, anxious, distressed, crippled, wrecked, demolished, fractured, handicapped, and disabled. Brokenness, based on the scriptures, the spiritual state by which one is disarmed of one's self-dependence and pride. Therefore, leaving one disabled and in desperate need of help. Thereby, making one a viable conduit for the glory of Christ. We're not masochists, but we do kind of have... A theology of brokenness.